I'm Brian May in the State Operations Center at Cal OES headquarters outside Sacramento. Today, the 13th day of the Thomas Fire, a fire that has now become the third largest wildfire in California history. For the very latest on the wildfire conditions there on the Thomas Fire, I'm going to go back to my colleague, Jonathan Goodell, who has been in Southern California all week. Jonathan, my first question for you is just explain where you are and what the situation is like there on the fire lines this evening. Yeah, hey, Brian, we made our way down from San Ysidro Ranch, came down the canyon. We're here now at uh, San Ysidro Road and East Valley Road, right away, right along Highway 192. And as you can see, this is essentially a main street of Montecito, and it's completely empty. Not a soul around. All that we've seen within the last couple hours are first responders, fire personnel, as well as uh, law enforcement. But this is Saturday night, and there's just nobody around. So it looks as though the residents have heated the uh, evacuation orders. And John, I see you're wearing the mask this evening. You've been down there all week. Describe the difference in the conditions this evening as opposed to what you've seen previously this week. Yeah, we came into town on Tuesday and it was much warmer throughout the week. The skies were clear, uh, smoke obviously in the distance. And today it's been a drastic change. Uh, we've had a lot of ash falling from the sky, snow light covered on our vehicles. Uh, smoke, as you can see over my shoulder, the smoke and the plume has never been this big the time that we've been here. It's uh, growing by the minute, and uh, it's been a huge change just when we arrived on Tuesday uh, to today. By far, the worst day that we've seen. That smoke plume is incredibly visible behind you. The one thing I don't notice back there is any aircraft fighting this fire. I know these winds, not only do they fuel the fires, but they can also prevent aircraft from fighting up above. Is that the case this evening? Yeah, and we've been here on the ground for a couple hours now. We've only seen one, maybe two helicopters flying. It's just too windy. As you can probably see around me, the gusts are upwards of 50 miles per hour. It's gotten worse and worse throughout the day. It's gotten colder, um, and it doesn't look like it's going to slow down anytime soon. We did hear on the radio a little while ago that as soon as these winds die down, they're going to try to get the aircraft back up and fight this fire. I know you, Jonathan, and your crew were evacuated from your hotel not far from there this morning, earlier this morning. So for folks in this evacuation area, what advice can you pass along if they get the orders to leave? Well, first and foremost, leave. Don't make it more difficult on the law enforcement and the authorities. They have a difficult job right now. Uh, listen to the authorities. Listen to your radio. Know where to go. Know your evacuation routes. Know the evacuation shelters. And there's also two uh, very convenient websites if you have access to the internet. Go to countyofsantabarbara.org, that's countyofsb.org, as well as readyventuracounty.org. They have a list of all the road closures and the evacuations. Great advice, and I want to pass along, too, that we've got all the latest of the wildfire information on our Cal OES uh, wildfire website, which is wildfirerecovery.org. Jonathan, thank you. Stay safe. You guys be, uh, be careful out there, and we'll see you when you get back to headquarters. And again, for more information, go to wildfirerecovery.org. Thanks for watching.